Hi everyone, this deck is Scott, and this is a tutorial on how to make these cardboard business card holders. In this one, I um, just put actual put business cards in here, um, and I did an inside color right here. I'll try to take these out. You can really hold anything in here, but um, in the one I'm showing you, you can I'm going to put a color on the inside, but you don't have to. So, yeah. And then, this other one is just chevron, and I have a divider because I messed up right here. And I put a color in here, as you can see. Put a color in each side. So, and I just put frosted plastic and plastic in there. So, I'm going to show you how to make this. The supplies you'll be needing to make this is two... You can do one roll or two rolls of duct tape. These are the colors and prints I'm using. You need scissors. These are nonstick. Um, an X-Acto knife. A top loader, or if you want cardboard, you can put that there. But I put this so you can see it. So, yeah. Now, um, you can do frosted plastic if you want. But, yeah. And another thing you'll need is a cutting surface and cardboard, obviously. And you can, this one's pretty thin cardboard. This one's thicker cardboard, which is the same cardboard I'm using. I just got this from a box. Just, yeah. Um, and that, this is the same cardboard I'm using from the Chevron one. And I'm just gonna put these in the corner. And um, so let's get started. The first thing you do is you cut the cardboard. So I'm just gonna take this and um, I'll get the measurements. I don't know if I stated this, but you will need a ruler for this. So, um, these are the pieces that you'll need. You will need um, three pieces that are, let me show you, 2.75 inches tall by 4 inches. And you'll need two pieces um, that are 2.7 by 2.7. So this will be a square. This doesn't look, really look like a square. Um, Yeah, but yeah, it is. Yeah, so 2.7 by 2.7 and 2.7, well, 2.75 by 2.75 and 2.75 by 4, if that makes sense. Because the three, you'll need the top one, the side one, and then the bottom one. And then this one is the plastic. And then the two ones are the two sides over here. So that's what you'll need for that. So you just cut your cardboard, um, or actually put this like in the back if I can, just like that. I don't know if you guys can. There you go. And you can just cut, take your pieces and take a pen or sharpie and just go like that and then you know where to cut it so yeah two three quarters so yep so um do four um three there four inches and two there 2.75 by 2.75 so now i have three pieces this one's another one just in case i guess um so I have three pieces and this I'm going to cut off and I have my two other pieces. So then you're going to cut them out with scissors. Um, the, this time it doesn't matter if it's non-stick or not. I'm not going to use non-stick and I'm just going to cut out all the pieces. Yeah, I'm not going to show me cutting every single piece because that will take too long and I don't want this tutorial to be really long and make, have to make it like two parts or something. Yeah, just cut around, and you can use your exacto knife too. So I have my pieces cut out, those two, and then these three, and um, yeah. Now you're gonna take one to two pieces to cover up right here. You're not gonna cover up the entire thing because I'm gonna. You're then gonna make a sheet that is higher than it, like that has sticky all around it, and then you fold it over. So basically on 
I'm just going to show you on one or two of them. This is what you do because I don't want this video to be like so long. Um, you just take your color or print that you want inside. This won't be on the outside of it, so you won't be able to see on it. So since this is four inches, I can do like three and a half or three and three quarters, depending on how much trim you want on it. And you just, I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get that in the camera. Okay. And you can just go like that. You can put it in the middle if you want. I might take another strip actually, depending. You may look at it in the middle of it. And we do it in the middle and then have thicker trim. So that's all you're going to do for that. Do it on this, this, and these two. And then I'll come back. So now I have covered all these. So I'm just going to have, show you how to do it on one of these and one of these, how to cover the other side. And then the other ones you can do. So you're going to take your tape. Sorry. I'm just going to... I haven't opened this yet. So just take your tape and depending on how much you have on the other side, you're going to probably want to double it. So say you have, okay, I have approximately half an inch, so I'm going to do about three quarters of an inch, actually. And go like that, three quarters of an inch. I do, I put the cardboard at the inch mark and then I do three quarters of an inch. And then about half an inch on each side. So then I do the other side, if that makes sense. Then I flip it around and go like that. Stick it down. And do that to same thing to the other side. So sorry. Let me try. So now you just um, once you do it on the sides, you just do the middle, and when you have the middle, when you have the middle, you flip it over and you cut out the corners on each side, as I'm doing right now, and just cut them out on all the corners. Then you just fold over all the edges, and you do that to every single piece that you have. So yeah, it looks nice on one side and the other side is just trimmed and you will have stuff in it so you won't be able to really see this. And if on one of them, say the top one, you don't want to put a color on it, you don't have to. You can, it's just whatever you want. And then you do the same basically for this. You just add about half an inch on each side and there you go. I think this is the rest of tape you're going to need. So I have covered all of mine. So what you're going to do is take an eight inch piece and um, cut it in half to so it's four two four inch pieces and then cut that in half so they are pieces like this if it makes sense and then this bottom piece is 13 inches you make a four inch piece you do and three three inch pieces if that makes sense um so with this i'm going to pick which one is going to be my bottom which this one will be then i'm going to half cover one side and then I'm going to take this and put it where I want it let me face it sideways so you can see put it where I want it and then you just push this up I'm going to make this um, I make these with a lot of the places covered the sticky with like so there's no sticky so now I take the other piece and I cover up right here so that there is no sticky right there. So then you have that piece on. Now I'm attaching the top. So again, I'm gonna spin this around. I don't know if you guys need to watch that me and doing the entire part of it because yeah, it's not that. I'm actually going to put it like that. 
attach it how you want it and then fold that over and then cover the sticky right there so now it's like this which kind of looks weird but now for the sides you take um the f well first you take the one f the last four inch piece you have cut it in half again and then you trim the id so i trimmed it and now i have half an inch half of the piece left but now I take the three inch pieces I cut those in half too and I'm going to attach the sides just how I did the how I did the other parts which you just take these pieces and I'm only going to show me attaching one because I don't want this to be really long so just do the bottom and then I put it where I want it. So yeah, and then I do that. And then I'm going to attach it. Oops, I did it the wrong way. That's great. Ah. So. So now I'm going to do it the same way. I just messed up on which way it goes. Okay. So now I put that up. And that will be like that. And you do this the same on the other side. And it's okay if this doesn't completely match. Like, yeah, it's off by a little bit. And then you take the other side. And you can attach it over here. Or you can cover up the sticky here which is what I'm going to do and then you just attach the sides and just attach it um you don't have to add put no sticky in the sides if you don't want but you can if you want to then you just cover up the sticky I mean like you fold that over so that it's actually more of the box shape and then after you attach everything um, after you attach all that you just take the bottom with your last your other four inch piece that you had from trimming the id and you attach the id on the bottom and then after that you attach the sides and you can make no sticky on the bottom or sides like i said if you want to if you don't then you don't have to um Okay, let me just do that. I'll change it later. Like, I'm going to change it after this video. Um, and then do the sides, and I'll show you how to make this strap. Now for this, you just take this, the 4-inch piece, and you have to cut 5 inches, one for this 4-inch piece and one for this. And you just make it how thick you want it. I'm going to do right there, because I don't make my straps too thick, but not so thin so yeah that's pretty good you can trim the edges if you want um i'm just going to do that and then on this now you just take this put it in the middle about like that you put it where you want it i'm going to put mine right here Oh, you don't have to do four inches, actually. Oops. You can always cut it. You don't want it too short, though. It depends on how far back you also put it. So I'm, you can do three inches if you want. So then you just, the final thing is you just take a dot or Velcro or, I don't know, that's why I'm doing Velcro, and I just take a Velcro dot, go like that, put it right where I want it, and that's the end of this tutorial. So basically, you have a business card holder that's all cardboard, and it's really strong. So yeah, this was requested by a lot of people, um, so I thought I'd do it, and here it is. So have a great day. Bye!